Hey, welcome to Data Analytics Ireland's 32nd video. So we're going to be discussing Pandas Group By. It's going to be four ways we're going to do this. And the first way is going to do it by a column name. And then we're going to look at the get group function. Thirdly, we're going to use a, a loop. And finally, we're going to use a lambda function. So let's get straight into it. And remember to hit the subscribe button below. Thank you. Right, so Panda's group boy, let's get into this. So we're going to be looking at a data file. A data file that's taking, taken uh, from the Irish government and it has a load of stats sticking around the 1st of May around COVID um, and the number of confirmed cases in each county in Ireland. So we'll be importing this in our code. So You've just seen the Excel sheet that I am importing the data from. So this is just the import statement here. So as described in the intro, we're going to look at four different ways just to group um, some data using pandas group by function. So start start off, we're going to actually just directly name the columns. All right. So what we're doing here is, first of all, we're just creating a a variable and then at the group by these particular columns okay so the output is actually very straightforward so the output is going to be county name population census 16 there which was in the excel sheet you just saw and then finally um we're going to tell it to also bring in the confirmed covid cases and we're going to say dot max now the reason we say dot max is in that data you just looked at here there is data sets um, for, for there's 26 counties in the Republic of Ireland so there's 26 data sets but it's on a per day basis so that's actually not the total the total is dead at the end so when if you were to filter this by Carlo here we'll just do this quickly here now so we'll show what's expected okay let's do this here now all right so if we go down here so the highest value in Carlo, which is at the end, is 100. Okay, and if we go back here to Carlo, the value is 100. So the whole idea of using dot max here is to go in and group all by these values and the confirmed COVID cases. But basically, on the confirmed COVID cases, um, you just want to take the maximum value because that's the cumulative value over the time period of the data set that we're looking at. All right, so that's a way of doing it. Option one of directly grouping by a name, name and columns. Okay. There is another way in option two, and the, the other way is basically again what we're going to say is create a variable called group by two. I'm just going to basically say it's going to be group one by one, but we're actually going to group by the county name. And the whole idea is that now you're basically splitting the data in by county name and then with this piece of code here what we're actually saying within county name is just get us the group killed there so if we go down here so that's option one there if we go down here you can see that this logic here um it's basically it's got the county name um it's basically got um then it's basically said within county name it's saying okay the subset of county name we're going to using get group function we're going to say put us back to kildare values all right so there's your get group as a way of grouping by it's another option that if you want to group group your data you can use the function get group okay so the option three is going to use a loop Okay, so we'll just start option three. So what happens here, we'll just take you through option three, through a loop, is we're basically going to just create this um, variable here again. Uh, we're just going to basically group it by, like we did above, the number of confirmed COVID cases, okay? So one thing to note when it does this is it immediately sorts it ascending. So um, when you see here, if we start looking at these values, it, these are index values here and these are not sorted alphabetically it's actually sorted here so these go up in value ascending 68 100 118 130 150 and so on and so forth so that's the first bit okay 
and then what it does is in the loop it basically goes to look I haven't displayed it here um, but it says for each group value uh, group of them display the group okay so essentially what it's saying here this is explain this code for each group by value which is this okay um, so if we were to just get rid of this to show you what the group value by value is so in option three there's 68 so the group by value is 68 and as you can see 68 matches there in the next one it's 100 the 100 matches there next one is 118 and 118 matches there okay so what we're trying to do here is essentially say for each group by value which is any of these numbers here so 68 100 so on for 118 group them um, but um, for each group value you create your basic return on an individual data frame so if we had to go down here for each if we were to take it take this as an example for each line up here above although these aren't sort of ascending here these are actually all all together in one big data frame what this is doing is in the loop sorry one second is actually giving you the same data frame but the but on an individual basis based on each group by value and it's also given it ascending so if you were to count all these up all the way down to the end of this we would get the same amount of lines that you had up in option one okay so that is that so the final one we'll have a look at is option four so option four is quite similar to probably option two in results okay except we're using the lambda function so what essentially how this works is um i've covered off lambda functions before but lambda function is um used it's called anonymous function and you can bring it in to filter um, or extract data. Uh, it's quite similar to basically an if statement. Even though you don't have the if statements, it's actually the Python way of doing if statements, and actually it's much more um, it's much more easier easier to learn and to implement. It just takes a while, but once you get used to it, it's actually pretty straightforward. So let's go through this um, as well. So for option four and the lambda function, we're essentially saying. We want to take group one again and we want to group by the county name okay so essentially the county name is the group by value okay and then what we're saying is we'll do a put a filter in this and say and uses lambda function and lambda basically applies x gives it a value of x and the base is saying go in for x for the value of x in county name find me the value carry and basically this this is just a display so it's essentially this the group by function first which was grouping it by county name and then you're basically saying within that i want to filter it again and basically just turn anything within county name that's carry and put it into a data frame so there you go there's an, there's your output your county name population sense 16 and confirm cases 294 so that is a overview of how to do pandas group by and just this is the first video we're doing on this and we're basically using um column names um to you in the group by in the next the follow-on videos we'll be used doing it a different way so make sure you subscribe and hit the the bell button so you get the alerts when the next video is out this will be going up on our youtube channel and obviously be doing a blog posting as well so thanks for joining us again today here at data and analytics ireland we hope you've enjoyed this any questions pop them in the comments box for this video um or on the blog post that will go up on our website you should be able to do it there and i will get back to you so have a good evening thanks for coming along and we'll catch you soon Take care. Bye.